section, was there any other material you used to study for that portion besides the practice exams? Did you use your notes or anything? Um, so not really much of my notes anymore after that. So a lot of what's specific towards environmental is um, like thermo, um, air pollution, a lot more like water resources problems, chemistry and things like that. And I think the biggest thing that just sounded like a given once I figured it out, but the biggest thing I didn't realize is that, especially when you're taking the FE exam, the concept, you, you should know basic concepts about the problem and what it's asking. And, but mainly it's just kind of like knowing how to cancel units. <laughs> So like I'd have like a really complicated like thermal problem that's something in micrograms over meters cubed times this times that and this and that. And it's more just understanding the problem to know what units you're looking for. And it starts to kind of click after that. Like the, I, I realized when I took the test the second time, I didn't have to be an expert in like whatever the question was asking but I did know how to like understand what it's asking for. And then it came down to canceling out units. That was like the biggest thing I realized that helped me, especially when environmental, like that, like I said, there's not a lot of material, but if you focus on just like covering what you can and then just realizing what the problem is asking for, like you don't, you don't, don't have to know the definition of everything in the sentence, but as long as you understand what the problem is asking for, you can tackle it. Yeah, yeah, because environmental, because you know, like for FE Civil, when you take FE Civil, there's an environmental section. Mm -hmm. And like you said, like you might get a problem and you're like, what are they asking? What are they even talking about? This, there's a mm -hmm. lot of technical words here. Like, like the whole sentence is technical words put together. And you like, <laughs> you said, like you don't need to understand all of them and I actually had a problem uh, on my exam where I literally, all I had to do was like kind of play around with the units mm -hmm. and, and I got the answer just by like, you know, even though I didn't have a deep understanding of what the question was about, you know, I looked at the, what we want as the units, as the answer, and I just took whatever they, they gave in the question and then play around with it and I got the, the answer. And I, I think a lot of the problems like, Knowing your units are really important. They can help you a lot with the FE. Yeah. Yeah, especially yeah, especially with um, environmental. There's like a lot of a lot of like solid and hazardous waste. Like that kind of is where like you do have to kind of just study by looking up the terms like RCRA, like Subtitle D, waste limits. Like you do kind of have to um, really do your own research on those kind of topics and subjects, and even even knowing like a, a wastewater treatment system, like a water treatment system, knowing like primary clarification, secondary clarification, like all that stuff. Yeah. I just had to honestly Google it. And I had to, what does a water treatment system look like? I, I just looked at what every component consisted of. And like, then if a problem asked, oh, when wastewater is going through a sludge activated or activated sludge system, like what's going on, then you kind of you kind of have like a conceptual knowledge enough to get your like self started on the problem and like what the actual math is asking for kind of thing. I think what was really helpful was kind of like I another thing I also probably heard from your channel was like you just go through all the questions, whatever you absolutely don't know, maybe know, kind of know, like you just flag it. So I think on the day of the exam, it's really important you do great on what you know. I know how to do this problem, I do it. And if I don't know it, I'm not gonna waste my time. Like I, I probably skipped like a huge amount of questions, but after I go back and look at it again and you reread it, you realize you're like, oh wait, no, I do know how to do this. So that was the biggest thing was just, if I knew it, I did it. If I kind of knew it, then I went back and then just kind of over and over and over again until you have no, no more questions left. So there was probably still a lot, like maybe like five or six that I had to guess on for each session. Maybe the, the second session, I guess on a lot more, but <laughs> definitely just kind of like, don't waste time. Just go through it once, twice, even four times. Like if you just had that many, you had to skip.
Yeah. Yeah, I think that's really, uh, I, I, I usually recommend that because like, you know, you get the, the easy questions first, which then you feel less stressed. You're like, okay, I got at least the easy questions. Mm -hmm. And like, it's interesting you mentioned this because I, when I took the exam, I actually felt the same way. Like there were some questions that I kind of knew and I would be I would just like flag them and I will come back to it. And I'm like, oh, well, this is, this is actually easier than I, I thought. Yeah. The first yeah. question you, you freak out. You're like, okay, I can't do this. I'm going to flag it. I'll come back to it later. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. When you, when you come back and you take a second, then you're like, okay, I can do this. And I think especially like the first maybe the first 15, 30 minutes, you're still a little bit shaking, you're anxious. Yes, you're anxious. yeah. So like a lot of the, like, if you get a hard question, like even though like it's easy, you you might actually freak out. It's just because you're still in that like anxious state yet. You haven't like yeah. reached that calm level yet. So you yeah. know, hey, just get the easy questions. And then when you feel more calm and you, you're like into the, you feel like you're just in the zone. Like you don't even, <laughs> that's it, right? Like you're just doing one question after the other one. When yeah. you're calm, then you can go to the hard questions. Yeah. Yeah. And I think it's intimidating definitely because you take like the practice exams and the question is like one line and then you take the FE and you just see every question is like a paragraph and it's intimidating. It's, it's like any other standardized test where they're trying to throw you off. So that's the biggest thing too, is just kind of like not be super intimidated. Like the question is probably a lot more narrowed like down than you think. And just kind of like, yeah, just kind of get, get over that freaking out phase. <laughs> yeah, yeah. And you're right. Like a lot of times like you see this whole paragraph and you like, you know, the mm -hmm. first thing is like freaking out. Like, wow, that's a, this is a lot of words. <laughs> I don't <Yeah>. know. <laughs> right? Yeah, a lot of words and like no free body diagrams. And you're like, where do I go from here? Exactly. Yeah. Exactly. And I think actually like the best way to approach those problems is just like, as you're reading, try to write down like what's what's giving to you and what's not giving to you. So yes. Like, yeah. And your brain is working as as you're going through those unknowns and knowns, your brain is telling you maybe we should use this equation, maybe we should use this equation. And then you just narrow it down. Another thing mm -hmm. that can be useful is that actually sometimes I do this, I would read what they're asking for first. So I would literally go to the end of the question and be like, okay, they're asking for this. And that actually helps me to stay engaged. And I'm like, okay, so we, you know, like we're looking at like, I don't know, I'm trying to figure out what would be like a long problem. Um, like I'm going to just go with the structural analysis. I know environmental major, but like no structural analysis is my head. <laughs> So we're trying to find like a bending moment for like a concrete beam, right? So mm -hmm. like if I read that, then I go back and I go like, okay, so let's, let me see what I need to look for. Like, what, what do I need? This is the end knows, this is what's giving to me. And then you can narrow it down and then it makes it go a little bit faster. So that's another method that. Um, yeah. And then like, yeah, like you said, like once you have all of your like knowns and unknowns written, you realize like, oh, I have almost every single term for the Manning's equation. I'm missing like two things. And then you're like, well, it's definitely that one then. <laughs> like you just yeah. realize. So yeah. yeah, that's definitely like what I found helpful as well. I hope you guys like this video. If you want to watch the full interview, make sure that you guys check out the link above there. Also, I do have some announcements. So the afternoon course for civil is currently on sale now the sale is going to end in about two weeks so i will leave the link in the description below in case you guys want to check it out before the sale ends now also if you guys like more videos like this make sure that you guys subscribe and then also you can click some of the boxes here to watch more videos to help you with your fe preparation thank you guys for watching good luck with your studying and i will see you soon à la prochaine yeah,